Hey, what you doing out there right now? Make sure you like this video. Make sure you like that video. What's up, Gunners? Welcome back. I got a parts. I got a parts. I got a parts. I got a parts. Uh, <laughs> I got to dig through all this. I've got so many spare, like, gears and stuff. I got to dig through this. Uh, it's going to be a weird day today because it's like we don't have that much. Man, let's enjoy the video, man. Keep gunning. <laughs> All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right, all right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say for it? Yeah. Hi. So, guys. I've got a spare transmission gear set, but I have to count the teeth and everything inside this. <laughs> I found an extra differential, LSD. I've got PPG stuff mixed in. Oh my God, if you guys know how much money is in these two boxes, you'd smack me in the face. This, oh my God, this PPG stuff is so expensive for no reason, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna dig through this, all this contraption of gears and stuff, because we're gearing up to go to, uh, it was 40. I see him. I don't know, who are you? There he is. See him? We're gearing up to go to Tri-State tomorrow. We're going to leave the transmission with Cunha. Uh, let him assemble it because he's a beast at transmissions. And I am going to keep... Buen dia! Buen dia! You hanging it or you having the coffee? Gracias, mano. Bendición. 40's getting these pedals ready for paint because there's no way we're sticking this rusty uh, contraption over here inside this beautiful chassis. So he'll just scuff it down and we'll, trim, we'll, we'll paint it trim black. This video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually make a pedal stop. I know this is a highly requested video and it's so easy, a caveman can do it. So I packed inside this bag, I'm gonna put this all, all this stuff in a box obviously. Uh, two extra input shafts, a final drive. That second gear is shot. There is no second gear on this guy here. So I'm going to have Cunha pick out the best gears from here, the best gears from here, and make one complete transmission. The forks are in great shape. These are from my race car. I just swap them every time I open it up. So this weighted arm is fresh. It's brand new. And the casing is there. So the transmission, I think we've got correct. I think we're gonna be all right with the transmission. I've got my differential there. I've got my screws and everything there. I'm gonna switch up the bolts and make them titanium also. Um, yeah, so that's what we'll do tomorrow when we go to Tri-State Motorsports cause CLM is in the same building and Cunha's a beast building transmissions. So I'll give him this headache. I'll pay him for the headache and uh, that's basically it. So I'm gonna pack up this stuff now so it's out of the way. 40 just sanded uh, the clutch pedal. I'm gonna show you guys right now in a little bit on how to make your own clutch pedal stop, which is, which is highly suggested for all cars in my opinion, because you don't wanna overthrow uh, to the pressure plate. Okay, Gunners, um, highly requested video. Highly requested review and how to DIY, whatever you want to call it. How do we make this clutch pedal stop that you're talking about, Aki? Why do they suggest it for about 90% of the clutches, especially for a twin disc? If you purchase a twin disc from me, from Action Clutch, we highly suggest you make your own pedal stop. It is the simplest thing in the world. Why are you installing a pedal stop? Because you don't want to overthrow the pressure plate. You don't want to push that throw out bearing too far and then cause a whole bunch of madness and mess. So we'll explain it real simple. 17 bolt, 17 nut. You have, your, you have a sensor that goes here that you'll need um, to press the clutch in to turn the car on. You take those two wires, you put them together so you don't need to press the clutch anymore. So here, right? We take this bolt, we take this nut, we put it in backwards, pause, against. We go like this, right? 
I hope this is clear. Is this clear? I'm excited to make this video, right? We take this, we thread it into here. I'm just trying to be as detailed as possible. Bear with me. I might sound like I'm speaking to a three-year-old. It is what it is, right? So now basically what you do is when you put this guy in here, what it's doing is it's, it's stopping this from going all the way down and you pushing the clutch fork too far in. So check this out. Now, when you find your engagement, when you figure the car goes into gear, that's when your pedal should stop. You lock in this nut. Now, watch the pedal move as I thread this in further. See that? If it gets too tight, then you back out of this bolt. You could use a shorter bolt. This was one I just found that was clean for demonstration. So you see that? Once you find your engagement, once you press on the clutch and the car goes into gear nice and smooth, that's as much pressure that you need to get the car into gear and to shift it correctly. So, clutch pedal stop. How did I do? Did I explain it real easy? One more time. Watch how you adjust it in and out. You never want to press the clutch this far in. That's why it's called a clutch pedal stop. And you can see it oh, right here. Let me get a light. Hold on. No, I'm saving this clip because this is asked about way too many times. How to, how to, how to. Okay. You stay right here. Okay. Now, what is the easiest way to show you guys? Okay. See it? And you adjust it. Clutch pedal stop. Very easy. 17 nut and bolt. Finito. Honestly, for about an hour now, we just been cleaning and prepping. Um, disassembled the uh, rack and pinion. I'm going to scuff this up and paint it nice trim black. I got these guys ready to go. I had the heat on, sprayed some acetone on it just to make sure it's clean, but I don't want to put any kind of like rusty looking pedals on that beautiful firewall when we install these. So now I'm taking the initiative. I don't really want to take all this spring stuff apart and all this because I don't want to deal with it later. Plus there's some of this stuff that I'd like to clean up and make it nice and like right here, these scratches, I can get rid of them with the trim black. So basically that's all we've been doing for the past hour is just cleaning and prepping stuff like, uh, <clears throat> you know, anywhere uh, firewall related. Stuff came out great. So trim black, the brake booster, did the pedals in trim black. Um, I can't put the clutch pedal on yet because I don't have a master cylinder. So we'll drop the car now. Vicky's almost done with the rack over there. Um, 40s working on the windshield wipers. Basically, we're just sanding, cleaning, and then we paint there. We've got a nice little assembly line going, but it's working out well. So I got the grommet in there nice and clean, ready uh, for the rack when we install it. But right now, I think I'm gonna drop the car real quick and install the brake booster with the pedals. I can't wait to see this, Vicky. I can't wait to see how clean it looks right now. So I'll go in inside. I'll hold the pedals there. Vicky will guide the brake booster in. I'll meet it with 412s. And voila. Gunners, can you see it? Can you see it, man? Oh. Oh, it's just so genius it might work, Vicky. It's just so genius it might work. Can my gunners see that angle? Yeah, they can see it. It's all right. No stand. Let it go. Yeah. That looks beautiful. Look at that, man. Can you feel me? See how that brake booster looks on there. Woo! Oh, that's nice, clean. Oh, that's nice. I put the windshield wiper motor. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, man. 40, look at that. Whoa. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wowie! People, take it easy. Take it easy. So our rack is painted nice and clean, trim black. We're getting some bushings and some rubbers in order, and then that we'll put that guy up soon. I just placed an order for inner and outer tie rods because I just want to complete this suspension. I mean, like once the suspension is complete, then it's it's pretty much just worrying about small details. We can get off of that. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll pick up a bunch of things from Tri-State and we can, because I don't know which direction to go towards. Do I work on the interior? But then again, the seats are in here and then you, you get what I'm saying. But basically we're just attacking one part of the car and going in on it. So today we're basically attacked the brake booster, um, the rack, the pedals, and that's it. Keep going. Everything is nice and crispy. We trim blacked everything, painted, dried it nice in the heat. We'll line up our 14s and 17s. We'll thread it in by hand always. There it is, that's that. Oh, it looks nice. How's your 14s lining yeah. up? Beautiful. Oh, yeah, let me see how it looks on camera. Woo, that looks crisp. How you guys like that rack? Nice and clean. Nice and clean. That's pretty much uh, that's pretty much the update for today, man. We got our brake booster in. It looks marvelous. It looks clean. Uh, we've got our windshield wiper motor in. We put our rack on. Uh, we've painted our pedals. That, this looks so dope. Hold on, man. Guys, appreciate Look how clean. I, I found, like, the cleanest bolts to put back in it. Oh, man. This looks so nice. Um, That's pretty much our update for today, man. I want to show you guys this brake line kit that I'm using. You guys are going to love it. It's basically like a full bolt-on kit. And uh, we're, we're probably going to start doing that the first day Trappy gets back because we're going to put some bulkhead fittings in the firewall. And I'm going to break down this kit for you right now. Uh, the Instagram for the uh, brake company is called Stash Auto. S-T-A-S-H Auto. Um, when we get further into the braking system, I'll uh, share their page and stuff. But they're definitely ready to help and support gunners. I love their parts. It comes with a proportioning valve that I'll show you guys how to adjust because everyone's like scared of... Uh, <laughs> doing proportioning valves like adjustable ones but I'm gonna show you this kit right now here it is uh, stash automotive so they're based out of Delaware um, great guy had several conversations with him he's not trying to look for a quick buck or anything like that he is in the brake line system he does clutch lines also so this is the full kit you know master cylinder comes with every fitting that you need all the bulkheads um, front wheel well in uh, interior front wheel well uh, well, interior front line, uh, front wheel wells right here. Uh, rear lines, your adjustable proportioning valve. So remember, when you're using an adjustable proportioning valve, um, if you have drums, you kind of want to go 60-40. If you have discs, you want to go 50-50. Once we install this, I'll show you guys how to, how to adjust it. And um, I don't know, is it here? I think this is my clutch line. Yeah, he sent me a clutch line kit, I believe. They sell everything. We are going to install, and and they opt, and they make a, they make them in a ton of different colors. I opted for like a smoke color, so I think that's going to go well with the theme there. Um, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I will be installing this real soon. If you want to jump on it, reach out to them. He'll give you guys a hookup as long as you say you're a gunner, and that's basically it. So Stash Automotive, he's based out of Delaware. He will be working with the Keep Gunning channel, man. So check him out. Yeah, Gunners, I'm going to call it. So I got to edit this video, post it up for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I appreciate all the positive comments. I hope you guys learned something in this vlog. The clutch pedal stop is crucial. If you know anyone that needs help with it, reach out to them, send them the video, because I'm not explaining it no more. That video of making a pedal stop was fully, fully detailed. Um, I hope you're enjoying the build. We're moving along. Every day we're adding more components to it. 
and uh this this build i was checking out some eks last night on instagram i got a lot of work to do man california has some beautiful beautiful cars especially eks so kobe is coming along man um i hope you guys are appreciating all this hard work that i'm doing to him man uh pause uh that's it that's all i got for you man i'll see you guys tomorrow i love you man please be safe out there keep gunning